Hello everybody, how's it going and welcome back to Syria. Last time we took out uh, the Kurds and the Iraqis with some help from our very good ally, the, Leb the Lebanese, uh, and no help from other, our pathetic ally, Iran, who honestly could get attacked by fucking Azerbaijan at this point and probably lose the war. I don't even think they, I don't think they have any units uh, is that a is that a glitch? I don't know, but oh, they have a few units. There's a couple. Um, I really don't know where most of their army is, though. So yeah, good job, Iran, for being useless. But yes, we uh, we took over those two countries and have expanded quite nicely um, into uh, into what we are now, which is good. I mean, uh, both nations have. Uh, quite a lot of uh, things that we could use, like population, uh, as well as oil and uh, other resources that we require that we didn't have in our small little itty bitty nation um, that we had before. Now, we definitely need to worry a little bit now, uh, more so about economy. We're actually doing okay in a lot of areas. We're doing really okay, we're, you know, we're doing pretty okay in um, agriculture. Rubber, we really can't help that much. Uh, timber, we're doing okay in. Oil, we're doing fantastic in. We have tons of oil and a shit ton of stock, and we're trading quite a bit. This is where a lot of our money is coming from. We have no coal, no iron ore, uh, no uranium production, but we do have a stockpile of it, and we aren't using any yet, so I'm not really concerned about that. Our power is absolutely pathetic. Um, we are importing a stupid amount of power. Um, same with consumer goods. We're not doing great in industry goods, military goods. We have a large stock, but we aren't producing very many, so if we go into any kind of large-scale war, we're going to have some problems. So first thing I'm going to do is try to, at the very least, semi break even on industrial goods so we're going to build a uh, bunch of industrial goods facilities here around this town and employ everybody in this town uh into industrial goods because why not then we will worry about um military goods uh as well as electrical power now we have a ton of petroleum uh that we could use for power so that's probably what i'm going to do is build petrol power stations in uh, former kurdistan i think that's probably the best way to go about it um, most likely now these troops are coming from the former front line to uh, sit in Damascus the reason I've put basically my entire military in Damascus and also why I imagine Lebanon is also reinforcing Damascus a little bit uh, is because of course we're very worried about Israel who has done nothing uh, so far however uh, because they've done nothing their treasury hasn't gone into the um, negatives yet, which means they're producing more military and such. So that's concerning. Um, we're possibly looking at a war with Jordan next. Um, their military is, you know, a decent size, but I think with the with Lebanese support will be okay, um, as well as support from uh, Iran, perhaps this time, maybe, <laughs> and our small but capable Air Force. Uh, will also help us. Oh, South Sudan's been eliminated. Oh dear, how how unfortunate. Sudan is is united once again in one big Sudan. So good for them. I, I guess that wasn't really what the South Sudanese wanted, but yeah, I guess that's what's going to happen. Isn't South Sudan still in a civil war? Or is that North Sudan? I don't remember which one is still in the civil war. I know one of them is still not really doing so great, but anyway, uh, Europe not really done anything except for the crazy uh, alliances that are going on against other <laughs> countries uh, that seem to break out of these alliances so they get their ass kicked because they just get ganged up on by 12 nations at once. The Ukraine actually did a really good job at fighting off um, this alliance of whatever the fuck. Um, I think it's NATO. There's only 22 nations in it. There's 19 nations in this one. So I don't really know if it's NATO or what's going on, but a lot of wars going on. Vietnam on Brunei, which is weird. Uh, Sudan on Guinea now, and oh, South Sudan, which already fell. Uh, Vietnam and East Timor have reached a ceasefire, and Slovenia and the Ukraine have reached a ceasefire. So that's nice. The Ukraine, 
Cease fired with the only country that isn't even participating in its current downfall. So, good job, Ukraine. The thing is, is Kiev won't fall for quite some time, because even with, like, U.S. intervention here and German intervention, it's French intervention, I don't... Actually, the French aren't there. Turkish intervention, which is a really weird one. Um, Kiev is very well defended, so that's going to be a very difficult takeover, even for those combined forces. Like... That is not going to be easy at all. Uh, that's a light infantry. I thought that might be an engineer. Do we even have any engineers? I don't think so. Are we now producing things that aren't shit? Uh, aha, we can. Let's produce things that aren't shit. Beautiful. Because those light infantry are trash. Uh, oh, we haven't done... We haven't researched the tank yet. That's coming. <laughs> it's a Regal. It's a Buick Regal tank, everybody. A 1992 Buick Regal tank. <laughs> just search up 1992 Buick Regal, and you'll know exactly what I'm talking about. Now, just imagine, while, while you're looking at this image of this Buick Regal, this beautiful Buick Regal, that it has just... It just has a fucking tank turret on top. <laughs> and, uh... I don't know, some turrets out the windows or something. Um, anybody with any kind of artistic skills, if you want to Photoshop that, that would be fucking hilarious. I'm um, just saying. <laughs> I would I would be 100% behind that uh, if you were to do that. Where are you guys going? Um, so yeah, just imagine that. Buick Regal with a tank gun on the top. Some machine guns maybe out the front window, maybe out this back window. And that's the, that's the T3 Regal tank. That we are researching and is getting close to being done. I can't wait for that one to be done. <laughs> um, is there anything else good that we can research? Not really there. Tank-wise, there's the rover, but this, the rover's not very good. Probably better off doing modern military bridges. Uh, type of portal for stress bridges. is light enough. Oh, right, okay, so like the bridge units. Amphibious assault design is probably great. Anti-tank rifle, automatic rifle. Honestly, all of this shit. Probably a good idea to just research it. All the technology stuff is good. Why not medical? I mean, we don't have commercial... How do we the fuck do... What? Modern clothing? How in the hell do we not have that? I don't understand how we're that fucking far behind. <laughs> in that, uh... In that regard, how the hell are we that bad? I am deeply concerned. We could go to war with the Saudis, but that would require some annoying maneuvering. Um, oh, hello. Oh, yeah, Pakistan is at war with Iran now. Well, that's not good, because Pakistan still has a large military. Uh-oh. <laughs> Uh-oh, SpaghettiOs. <laughs> Oh, that's really not good. And they haven't gone to war with India yet, so their army hasn't been, like, you know, annihilated. Whoa, what the fuck? Myanmar going after Bangladesh, and they are going to win this war. There's no way they're losing this. They're outside of Dhaka now, and they're annihilating Bangladeshi forces. That's going to be a weird-ass border. There's no roads up in here. That's going to be a really weird border. They must have struggled to get up in here, like, to take this city. So I don't think Myanmar owns that city, so they would have, like, no supply in here. Yep, there it goes. Bangladesh just got eliminated by Myanmar. Of all fucking things to happen, what a strange, strange war. Also, I, I assume a very short war. I hope that didn't... Uh, I just saw an Iranian one there, and I didn't even read it. I really hope that's not like, hey, you should, uh, <laughs> you should help us. Thailand on Singapore. Bangladesh is dead. Vietnam on Myanmar, interesting, and Pakistan and Iran's war, but Pakistan really isn't doing a whole lot. Iran also not doing a whole lot. Oh, Pakistan now is doing a lot. Um, what are you doing? No, 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 no. We're not. No, no, we are not interested. We are not fucking interested in that at all. Hold the fuck on. Get the fuck into Damascus, you fucking assholes. Uh, all ground troops are to entrench 
immediately in Damascus. We are not helping the Iranians here. I'm so sorry, Iran, but you're a fucking terrible ally. Like, to the point where I kind of want to break our alliance and declare war on you and take some of your shit <laughs> before, before they, uh, like... I really like them, and they really like me, and I know breaking ties is really going to hurt a lot. Um, but, like, some of their land would just be really nice to have, you know? If they're going to die anyway, they may as well die. I don't know. Well, the Pakistanis, they could get stuck on the desert. That's totally possible. There's a lot of no-man's land between where the Pakistanis currently are and Tehran. So, yeah. We have our own shit to worry about, Iran. I'm very sorry that you're probably going to die. Um, can I ally with Russia yet? No, probably not. Hey, Russia, what's up? You want to be friends? I actually can pay you a fucking boatload of money. Hold on. Will you take $13 billion to be my friend? Okay, I know that's not going to work. Can we... Uh, free trade. Really? Not even free trade. Really. Even if I... Okay, if I throw in a bunch of money, they'll actually do it. So that's fine. Yeah, rejected. Yeah, whatever. I will accept everything else. Oh, shit! Russia just went to war. With Kazakhstan. Oh, that's not going to last long. Wait, is Kazakhstan a part of the alliance from hell? No, they're aligned with Armenia... Kyrgyzstan, Tajikistan, and Turkey. So we could see Turkish... No, we won't see Turkish troops. We'll see other Istan troops. Tajikistan and the and the latter. Yep, there they go. Going to help their other Stan buddies. That's it's not going to make a single fucking difference. Um, but... Did they, did they decline that? Did they decline my offer? Of free trade? Did they do... Did they really? You assholes. Who declared that war anyway? Was that Russia? Well, Russia did declare that war. Oh, Thailand on Myanmar. That'll be an interesting one. How's this doing anyway? Oh, that built. Okay. So how are we... Oh, okay. We're actually doing okay there. Oh, shit. We are producing a lot more military goods. Where the hell did we get all the military goods from? <laughs> uh, okay. Let's build... Uh, industrial, we'll build some consumer goods. Let's try and make that semi-stable. Well, really near the border of Turkey, so we can, you know, throw all the toxic fucking chemicals into Turkish airspace. Just kill them all. Uh, Pakistan, slowly advancing into Iran. Oh my god, that is... So, Thailand and Myanmar, who... Uh-oh. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Oh dear. Well, that's not good. <laughs> I, uh... Ah, oh, shit. Fuck me. Uh, no? How about no? How about we have some peace? And we fucking talk about this? Because I really just don't want to, uh, have that happen. Thank you. No, they took herbal. Take back herbal. Take back Kirkuk. Okay, no, no, no. We, we cease fired. We cease fired. Whew. Whew, that was, that was almost really bad. Okay. Uh, we need to entrench our units again. Uh, we will entrench them here. Uh, now they get a bunch of units in Kirkuk. Fucking dickheads. They got Kirkuk. Yes, funnel your entire, entire army into Kirkuk. All of it. Just the whole fucking military. Actually, no, because if they declare war on me... I've got to go to war with a lot of other annoying people. Although, two, a couple of them are about to die, so... Hey, Russia, are you sure you don't want to become friends? Um, I can't believe they they didn't say yes to our free trade agreement. What a bunch of jerks. Fuck you, Russia. I hope you lose. <laughs> They're obviously not going to lose. War declared. Sudan on Burkina Faso an interesting one. Um, how is Kazakhstan doing? They're close to Astana. <clears throat> the 
the other Estan countries have sent their militaries and immediately lost. What the hell was that? Ceasefire. Oh, France and the Ukraine. Okay. So France was actually at war with the Ukraine. The Ukraine is fighting back now. The uh, alliance countries, their militaries, I guess, are just not interested anymore or something. Something is up. And, uh, yeah. So the Turks have occupied Kirkuk. They're Kirkuking me. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Um, they didn't take my, uh, I guess it was because I told them I was going to, uh, poison their lives <laughs> from, from these consumer factories, uh, that, uh, that tipped them off there. Um, so sorry. I will blow it into Iranian airspace. We need more taxation. That word, that, that just cost us a lot of stuff. We're actually not using a whole lot of that to build these, which is good. Yeah, you can, you can back off now. Hold on. I appreciate you, though. <laughs> I appreciate you and your uh, continued existence. Please keep your things in my land. I also love how my artillery is going to try and defend Turan. And not me. Because why would they try to defend me? Right? Tweet from the president. Canadian crazy Chris Latour doesn't know business like Kevin O'Leary. Wait, qu wait a minute. Wait, wait a fucking second. Chris Latour is the no. <laughs> so what? Chris Latour is Canada's um, prime minister or prime minister minister of finance. Chris, you fucking like. <laughs> are you are you that good at finance, buddy? <laughs> to run the Canadian economy. Okay. I trust you. I'm glad I'm in Syria. Oh my god, Russia. What the fuck are you doing? What the actual fuck? Just take Astana and be done with it. You're about to. Boop, 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 boop. And dead. There goes the Kazakhstani capital. And that's it. The end. Sudan declared war. Sudan, you are war mongering as hell. China, I don't know why you're attempting this. I don't think this is going to work out as well as you think it is. At least we found the Chinese military. So, yo, Iran just uh, literally just didn't have any fucking military? Oh shit, there they are. <laughs> why is Iran only now reacting with its actual military? Iran, are you fucking, are you okay? the hell is wrong with you? They're still going to lose. Pakistan is way too entrenched and there's not enough uh, Iranian troops, I don't think, to make a difference. They'd need an air force at this point. Like, honestly, they would need a, like an air force. Uh, Vietnam, Papua New Guinea, Russia declared war on Estonia. The Macedonians and the Ukrainians are now at peace. So the Ukrainians are just slowly taking back their land and making peace with all the other people that we're trying to attack them. That's kind of funny. Um, Estonia has like four seconds to live because they could actually make some headway um, <laughs> right now since most of Russia's troops will have to come back uh, from Iran. You really don't need to be there from uh, Kazakhstan. And most of them aren't even moving. They're not like trying to attack at all. Uh, oh shit, they actually landed troops in Tallinn? The hell? Tallinn could actually fall to this one dude. Oh, Latvia is coming to the defense of Estonia. Well, Estonia has a shit ton of friends. We could see... Unless Tallinn falls here in like two seconds. Which I don't think it will. Um... We could actually see, like, a NATO response, a NATO war against the Russians. Wouldn't that be interesting? Nope, Estonia just got eliminated. Never mind! Dreams of a massive NATO war with the Russians are, uh, are dashed. Which is a shame. 
but it is what it is. Is what it is. All right, so so we're making a bunch of these things now. We have six uh, fabrications, which is pretty damn awesome, gotta say. Um, I really, really want to go after the Jordanians, but I don't know how well that war is going to turn out. Like, I do have Lebanon, but at the same time, um, there's a very scary Israel. That's what also give me a bigger border with Israel, um, which could be problematic in the future. Just because they their military is big and modern, and that's a little scary. I could go against Kuwait. They have a modern military, but it's not that big. I mean, we'll just run out of fuel in the desert. We could just fight them from here. And that's a small nation, but it's a nation that would line us up better to take the Saudis uh, later on. And then that would open up the rest of the Arabian Peninsula. So taking, like, say, Yemen or Oman or whatever next. I think that's probably the better way to go than taking Jordan. Just because a bigger front with the Israelis is just a very bad idea, I think. Um, but who, what the fuck do I know? So I think we're going to go... Oh, hold on, everybody. Oh, no, wait. We're going to entrench in that city. And we are going to declare war on Kuwait. And hope nothing happens. Because that would really suck. So almost, almost all they're, they're coming. <laughs> they're 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 making their way downtown. Actually, these guys, realistically, we should probably just keep them in Damascus. I'm really worried about Turkey again because now that they have Kirkuk, uh, they took Herbal. I thought I had Herbal better defended than that. So I'm gonna look at garrisoning everything up here, just in case. The Turks get greedy again. Especially like these border cities like Halib. How is Damascus not fucking garrisoned? That makes no goddamn sense. Garrison the shit out of our capital city, you morons. Garrison that. That's a very important city. So is Raqqa. There we go. Okay. A little bit better. Um, those are building nicely. That's good. Fuck you, Turkey. <laughs> you giant cocksuckers. Oh, the Russians don't like us as much as they used to. Well, that's unfortunate. Oh, the uh, the Ukrainians are fighting back. There, There is a chance they could take Slovakia at the rate they're going. It'll be a while. It'll be a long while. But it's possible. How has this war progressed? Neither side's really made much of a punch. And they're fighting over, like, this area here. So, realistically, they've kind of nullified each other. <laughs> it's a shame Myanmar had a huge army. Uh, they could have, you know, ruled the fucking world, but they didn't. And then, of course, Thailand had apparently enough of a military to counter it. And now they don't. Is Nepal dead? Oh, it is dead. Okay. How are the Koreas not fighting? Oh, the Koreas are fighting. Somebody. Oh, Japan! Japan is invading North Korea and losing. So they're sending a shit ton of troops and just getting them all killed. See, Japan's got, like, an interesting, like, dynamic, because they're on an island, right? So, I mean, they could just send their whole army and die and then just rebuild. They're, like, trying to invade this city, like, desperately, and they can't do it. I'm surprised the South and the North haven't declared war on each other yet, though. Very surprised that war hasn't gone off. Apparently Russia's getting aggressive now. Um, which really isn't great for the rest of Europe. But it is what it is. 
not about to get aggressive though, so I mean really who who am I to judge? <laughs> really realistically. Who am I really to judge? Alright. Air units I want at the ready. I don't know where the nearest airstrip is. I assume in Baghdad here. I was trying oh, there, there's one there. Okay. And declare war. And air bomb. And here come our allies. <laughs> Streaming on over. Hello, Lebanon. How you doing? Sending a bunch of contingents over. Looks like we've already overwhelmed the uh, forces there. Yeah, we've already overwhelmed them. So, this is a victory for us. And we did it. Victory is ours, ladies and gents, Annex. We did it. We'll repair everything there. So that'll give us a, a boatload more oil, which is fantastic. I don't do they have a military production facility? No, I don't think so. Oh shit. No no, no 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 no. We are not fighting that war. In trench. Here. We are not fighting that war. No. <laughs> Don't even think about it. They can fight it themselves. They have an army now. They found it. So they can fight that war if they really want. <laughs> Apparently that war is stalemated. I guess. Which I find funny. Is that where these guys are going? Are they go and fight that war? That's how they are too. So now they're going to here. For some strange reason because two of my other troops have gone there we don't need to fight the Pakistanis we really really don't so they're, they're not who, it doesn't matter if they win they win and who cares <laughs> Yeah, just artillery, that's fine. So we've taken Kuwait, which is good. Um, that's a very good thing. Apparently the U.S. is declaring war on people now. Entrepreneurs the f are the future. That's nice, Donald. That's, I mean, legitimate, at least. France on Moldova. Uh, Sudan on Namibia. Sudan on Eritrea. Are they bored with Eritrea? They could actually, like... Well, they took them out, okay. Like, why is Sudan such a, a military-hungry power right now? I don't really get it. They're going to declare war on somebody they shouldn't, and then that's just going to end poorly for them. It's like, all right, we're actually going in. Some of our troops are fighting. I don't want that. We have other things we need to worry about. So Guatemala's dead. May they rest in peace. Cuba declared war on Haiti. That okay. I don't really know what's going to come of that. They're going to try and land in Haiti and fail. Most likely. Oh no, they took it. Oh my god, that was quick. Holy shit, Cuba. Whoa. <clears throat> was Haiti really just that pathetic? Oh, they were. They don't have any like land troops. They just they only had artillery. Nothing protecting Port-au-Prince. I'd be really nervous if I was the Dominican Republic right now. I would be very, very nervous. Just saying. Also, I'd be very nervous if I was anybody in the uh, Latin American countries right now. I'd be very, very nervous. Oh, okay. We actually um, we can produce tanks now. The Regals. May as well start on those guys. We still don't have any airplane production, which makes me a little bit nervous, if I'm honest. Airplanes are very important parts of of our lives. Well, that's fine. Oh, that built? Nice. Okay. Do we have any... Oh, okay, good. So we're actually up there. We're doing well pretty much everywhere now except for power. 
God, that's such a deficit. Such a fucking deficit. But we have a lot of that now. So we build industrial, do, 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 power, petrol. We build a couple. Build some there and there. We should be okay. Do we have any... That's not what I want. Build. Do we have any uh, iron ore deposits? No. Jordan has a little bit, so that's good to know. We should to fuck taking Jordan actually is something that would be good now. Or if we had managed to overwhelm the Turks enough and took in this little area, that would have been good. But sadly, we did not overtake the Turkish military, which is. Probably not something we'd be able to do. <laughs> what about coal? Coal mine. Uh, we also don't have any access to that, and neither does the entirety of the Middle East. So we're just going to have to deal without coal for this entire campaign. Okay. That's nice. Glad that we get to do that. Fuck. Okay. Shitty. That is shitty. But it is what it is. Um... I'm wondering if we shouldn't go after Saudi Arabia next. They have a their military is a decent size. Um, nothing we haven't really gone after before, but uh, it's also very spread out. So we're only going to encounter bits of it at a time. You know, like we're going to encounter these guys first and these guys, but these guys are coming up behind them and so on and so forth. It'll be a fairly constant stream of troops, but it'll be very f like only a couple at a time, right? So it's like. You know, I don't know. <laughs> it's plus then you're running out of supply a lot really quickly unless you like come down the coast here um, and take all these like coastal cities and stuff, and then move in that way. Um, you're gonna run out of supply very quickly. But that is for next time. I think I'm gonna end it here. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you all next time. Peace.